The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow Industrials up 115, NASDAQ up 96, S&P's up 24, gold contract up $3.30, trading at 12 dollars 60 an ounce. We get silver up three cents, fifteen dollars seventy-two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck twenty-five, fifty-one dollars seventy-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten-year note up two ticks, one twenty-one thirty-one. Thirty-year bond up one, one forty-five fourteen. Uh, they're not up much, folks, but they've already rejected lower price. Uh, and bottom line, they look like they want higher price once again. King dollar, King dollar up 123 ticks, trading 95, 335. Now, King dollar, you can expect big action between 2 to 3:30 Eastern time this afternoon. That's when they're going to start voting in the UK. Four amendments, and then Theresa May's Brexit deal. Okay. They're, they're labeling a Theresa May's Brexit deal, by the way. That's unfortunate for her because I, it, they said it's not going to pass. Exactly. And it's only a question of how badly yeah. it's going to fail. It, it, exactly. Yeah. The, uh, you got the uh, euro trading at 114.50 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is at 108 and a half. And the pound is at 128.31. And that pound wants higher price. So it looks to me like no matter where they're going to vote, uh, those currencies want higher price. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swimmers as you each and every day. And folks, if you want to understand options, option strategies, futures, upside down, great program every trading day, right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. And guess what? As TD Ameritrade, TFNN, you talk about troopers. Doesn't matter whether it's your birthday, what it is. He's out here growling and prowling. That's what with us. I hear, man. I hear, I hear it's Kevin Inks' birthday out here today. Is that right? I turned 112 this morning. Exactly right. 112 guys. candles oh. on that cake. Thing, baby. I love Happy it, man. Birthday. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, it's hard for a kid from the south side of Chicago to have a birthday in January because it gets a little cold here. Oh, my God. They'll keep you in the studio, Kevin. They'll keep you busy today. Well, hey, you know, you see that natural gas yesterday went up 16%, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, evidently... So, I mean, is, how, how interesting are these markets, guys? I mean, Citigroup came out, looked like some of the revenues were light, normally some things that would take a stock lower. And, no, the stock bottoms out and rallies. Why? because these banks are so beat up and, and creamed that they're just not getting hurt like, like, like people think. And the difference between the Citigroup and the Wells Fargo and the J.P. Morgan is what expenses. Citigroup really controlled their expense and expenses, and that's why they were able to beat. So watch when the rest of these banks come out, like Goldman's coming out uh, uh, tomorrow. Watch for expenses and how they're managing their overall expenses. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. You know what's interesting, too, is that th on a personal note for myself, right, um, J.P. Morgan, right, the, you know, you're dealing with all these banks, and I have a couple of different bank accounts, and I had a new one at Chase, right? And sure. Tommy's one of his best friends, still works for J.P. Morgan, right? He does not. He works for a different company. Oh, uh, now he does. Yeah. Okay. But I can tell you, man, that their online, like how you can, what you can do with your account is just, I was so impressed, man. I'm saying to myself, oh my God, these people put so much money into tech. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, you it, gotta respect Jimmy yeah. Diamond, right? Yeah, I mean, this just happened to me, Kevin. Do you know what I mean? But it's gonna, it was, it's gonna be interesting. We haven't changed from Wells Fargo forever just because all our credit cards are there and everything. But I'm not telling you, man, once I went to Chase, I said, you know what, man, I can see why they get so much business because they make it so easy, man. I mean, it's like they're mobile apps, they're online, bill paying, the, uh, the, the, um, you know, the ability to send money to other people. Right. It's pretty, it's, it's revolutionary. It, it really is, is, man. It's like, what am I doing over, <laughs> it, 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 it was that cut and dry. I mean, it was like, okay, here right. we go. So, you know, this afternoon, well, I guess, you know, at the, what happened here, folks, at the get-go is that someone came in and bought these tech stocks in a huge way. I mean, I just went through the, you know, NASDAQ's up 1.5%. 
Uh, but you can see. Well, that, do, you, do you guys see the Netflix news? Uh, They're raising prices. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we, Tommy was just saying, there's no doubt. Uh, they're going from eleven dollars to thirteen, folks. Okay, and you know they can go to twenty, and no one's going to get rid of Netflix. So it's like I agree completely. There is no elasticity of demand in a move from eleven to thirteen. Yeah, None. yeah. And look at this this equity, man. I mean, you know, you you were two hundred and thirty-five dollars uh, what three weeks ago, and you're at three fifty-four. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Right. I mean, that's it's that that stock moves, you know, when there's no news. <laughs> but when there's news like, like this, it's a pretty, you know, it's not really surprising that, that the stock's having a day like this. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, um, the, uh, the aspect of these notes and bonds, they don't seem to want to give it up. The dollar, you know, we'll see where that's going to go. Um, you know, the yeah. S&Ps, it's going to be interesting here, man, because that, 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 that was a quick acceleration up. We'll see whether it can hold that price. Right. Bonds, bonds are strong, guys, because that PPI number was pretty weak, right? Down, yes. down 0.2 at PPI. That's, that, that tells everyone there's no inflation, even at the producer level. So inflation is not a worry. And the currency trade, the dollar trade, you mentioned it uh, before I came on the air, Tom. It's all about Brexit. Today's right. movement in the currencies is all Brexit. You know, it's amazing. I mean, they're talking, they're, they're in I don't know if they're in trouble over there, but they're definitely in trouble as to a process whether they're going to stay or go. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay. Yeah. There, there are so many things going on there. And do you guys think about this? It dawned on me this morning. It's been three years since that original uh, Brexit vote. Three right. years. Pretty remarkable. They were showing clips of... And they're no closer to yeah. having it done. They were showing clips of May today just on Bloomberg, and they had a reel. And they were just showing just their statements, and it was like 800 days ago, 600 days ago. And I did the same thing, Kevin. I said, man, this has been going on for like 700, 800 days that they've yeah. been out there talking about, you know, we need a good deal. We need that. We need it. I mean, and now we're at the, you see what happens. It's just been all talks. And based on what I've read and based on the way I look at it, they're no closer. Right. It's right. all been talked. Ma yeah. ma matter of fact, they may be, these, I think Brexit is breaking down. Frankly, no. I I'm do too. The, you know, the tea I, leaves that I read, I think, I think it's in serious jeopardy. Yeah, no, I, I agree, man. I mean, because it was close anyway, and so this thing, yep. whether it would be a new vote or not, it's, it's going to be close. And then if you leave it to the politicians, that means nothing's going to get done. So that means that it's going to be close. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, it, it's it's going to be pretty amazing. But from a trading perspective, and I see everything through the eyes of trading, so all I think about is the dollar. Yeah. Right, and if a Brexit deal gets done, it should help the euro and hurt the U.S. dollar. Right. In terms of, but but the more uncertainty, more uncertainty leads to just the opposite. Right. Right now, I think is what you're seeing. No, I, there's no doubt, and you know, I, we may know more. You know, what what they're going to start the vote at 2 p.m. Eastern time, folks, and they figure they go to 3:30. But guess what? Just as they do in the United States, if they think they're going to get totally destroyed, they just might say, okay. We're putting this off too. Yeah, we, we might we might get that signal in another couple hours. Yeah, and we'll see. Yeah, that, it, isn't it interesting how they do things differently over there? Because we'd never have that vote here if we're going to lose that bad. Right. right? No, no, totally. Listen, folks, right here, 45 minutes now. Great program, Kevin. You have a great birthday, safe birthday, and a great year, man. Earnings season, baby. Earnings Boom. season, <laughs> most beautiful time of the year. Awesome, man. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thanks, great Kevin. One. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are up 12, Nasdaq's up 80, S&Ps are up 16 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Daryl Martin at 8 Pex Investing. And of course, folks, this is going to be a big day out here uh, this afternoon. Uh, we, Forex market? There'll be some Forex action in that market. pound, maybe? No doubt. Daryl Martin, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Doing great, man. Yourself? Good morning, Daryl. Uh, doing fantastic. Hey there, Tom. Um, and Tommy? So, yeah, we got uh, some news coming out with the Brexit vote sometime today. Um, you know, there obviously is the expectation that they will reject it. Right. So, and then we'll see what happens next. What's y'all's expectation? Well, in, in the currency trades here, yeah, so when we look at the currency trades, and that's what I'm trying to figure out now, because the expectation Eastern time is that they uh, claim that they're going to start the vote at 2 o'clock, but they have four amendments first before they do the Brexit vote itself and so they're speculating that it's a good hour or an hour and a half before they get to brexit so that's what i'm trying to figure out is that the these close at three huh is that yes i know that don't make life any easier does it no that's important <laughs> well, it's important, that, it's important for everyone to know exactly do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, yeah. now you do have the weeklies that you can put on but of course i mean that can go a little crazy still so it's nice to okay, have some sort of hedge good, or low risk that's, contract that's on. better that's better right no yeah. that that would make more sense because but if you want to be able to find risk you know right yeah because the last thing you, you want to do folks is be in the currency market when this thing gets released and we're getting some you know, movement right now without even. defined risk i, I mean, mean that's that's what we're talking these here. are five minute bars and you can see the one that we're in right now sticking out we're at the lows of the session almost going back and and since about 1 a.m we're trading at 129.1 and you're looking at the pound right yes yeah. i'm looking pound dollar we're trading at 129.1 we're almost down a full penny we're at 128.2 yeah um and there hasn't been too much of a revelation since about one in the morning in terms of what they expect going on over there right um but i think the market's cluing in and and um Seeing some volatility coming at it, man. I'm sure it's going to have volatility in both directions come come the news that breaks out. Yeah. The, the indices popped up a little this morning along with everything else, too. Right? Boy, they went quick, man. I mean, and look at that yeah. NASDAQ. Just jumping yeah. over. 9.30, we're trading at 65.76. We trade up. Do we get a full 100? Not quite. 90 points, 1.5%, and a uh, slight little pullback. Dow, I mean, look at the Dow. Dow erased all of the gains almost, uh, yeah. which is pretty remarkable. I mean, we just... 
went up to 20, we touched 24,000, pretty remarkable. We're already down more than $100 from that level. And you know, folks, if you are looking at these indices, which is pretty cool, is that if you look at the Russell 2000, even when the, the, the S&Ps went up 24 points, the, the Russell 2000 didn't move. So that's telling you quite a bit. The, the Russell's been the weakest indice, but that was kind of shocking when I brought it up. It's like, oh my God, you no, know, what, right, yeah. what happened here? Do We're you know actually I mean? at session lows right now in, yeah. in the Russell 2000, yeah. uh, as opposed to NASDAQ you know, right. 100, it's yeah. just leaps and bounds. It's been interesting how all the indices really have not, like they've been way out of their correlation, you know. Yes. And yeah. Well, you, have to, you have to see them all rise and fall together, and that's just not been happening. No. So. It, it, I think that's a perfect illustration this it morning. Is. I mean, no, it is. Take it a is. look at those three charts, whether it's the Russell, then you look at the NASDAQ, and then you look at the Dow. Yeah. yeah. Because someone came in the NASDAQ, the NDX 100 in particular, and they bought the heck out of that when that whole thing went. And that just took everything right up. It was like they, I just, right before we started the program, I went to Google, Amazon, and Netflix yeah. might have started it. Yeah, I, mean, that, that's, I think it probably did. Right. Yeah. Facebook is up $5. I don't know about that one, right? No, exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's what, what, I, what happened is that when right. I brought up Facebook, I said, okay, they bought them all. They that's, did. You know I what agree. I mean? That's what's kind of... You know, that's the funds coming in straight across saying, okay, man, I'm going to hit the NDX 100. I'm going for it. And we're getting some negative action in that pound as they pull back up. I mean, Daryl, since you almost came on with us, man, we, we've gone from 128.3 down to 128. Nothing. That, nothing. that used to be like a one-week move right there. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and, and even sticking out on this, those, those, those bars stick out, which is uh, remarkable considering we just moved a full penny. But big bars, and I wonder what's going on over there. Maybe there's some news breaking out of there, right? Yeah. yeah. That's people back too. So. What's that, Daryl? He's about 50% retraced from okay. his run up this morning. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, the moves we got, both directions. I mean, a lot, this is a lot better volatility than we had yesterday. Yesterday was just flat. So. It was. We kind of hung out for most of the afternoon at a pretty yeah. similar. Yeah, and, and you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be intriguing, especially us being on the outside looking in, because it, it seemed that when you look at the analysis over there, they're going to vote down Brexit in a huge way, but yet they're not going to get Theresa May out of the government because the, what they're talking about is that people in her own party are voting against the Brexit, but they're not going to vote her out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> so I it's like, okay, so what are you going to do then? I saw an interview today of somebody yeah. exactly saying, you know, right. that, that they support May and they're going to vote against it. And I the know. The question was, well, how do you support her right. if you're going to vote against her right. plan? And, right. and I think I just stopped listening at that point because. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, totally. You know, so, so that creates constant, constant uncertainty, which is good for us with yeah. all the. Um, and it should yeah. because that's crazy, right? You know, you yeah. obviously don't support that person. That's oh, obviously why I was there's surprised. problems. No, if I, you're electing a leader exactly. that you don't support, that's going to cause problems, right. especially in something so difficult because it is quite a task on her plate to get it done, um, especially when you're dealing with support. That's and, really and, you know, it's probably underlying they just don't want to leave because underlying, if remember, May was against it, but she said they voted for it, so she'll make sure it happens. Right. Do you know what I mean? And so that could be the same thing with a lot of other people that, okay. It's so contentious and stuff. Yeah, you right. know, it, it, it is. is. And it the is. bottom line, though, is that they voted for it, man. And, you know, right. they should be getting it done. They want to vote for it again. That's great. But in the meantime, that's what they voted for. So votes have consequences, as we've said. Yep. And, and it's not right. I mean, you know, whether you believe in it or not, you want votes to have consequences. Oh, yeah. Because someday you're going to be on the side of the votes or something. Right. And if they don't do it, that's, that's how government that's, falls apart. So that, there's, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah. You know, last time we were on, uh, uh, we were talking about the, t the touch brackets, right? Yep. So how, how, are you, how, are they, how are those going? They're going great. Okay. So cool. they're keeping the liquidity there. You can hop in. They refill it. Um, and so they, hopefully there's some more market makers coming on here in the next couple of weeks that'll add even more liquidity and of course tighter bit offer spreads. Yep. And I was but, just gonna yeah, pull, I mean, it's get pretty in and cool. out of them easy. Sorry, jumping in again, but the forex. I mean, they have pound dollar, they have euro dollar, and then of course they have the indices as well in there. So you have forex oh. and you have them. I know, pretty cool, right? In terms of oh, that was the only see. I, oh, yeah, that's yeah. The touch brackets today would be pretty cool. Except for the three o'clock. <laughs> Except that's, for the three o'clock. I know. And the similar deal that the touch brackets are expiring at three o'clock. Um, wow. No, they won't expire at three. They'll just stop trading at three. They'll actually stay open. Like so, you'll be able to um, if you're in, you'll still be in when the market reopens. Because they go to Friday. Oh, interesting. Ah, that's thank right. Because they're weeklies, right? Okay. Perfect. I just looked at the three, but time time left three yeah. days. Oh, okay. Wow. So that's even more interesting. So yeah. So, how does that work, Daryl? At three o'clock, they stop trading until when? Uh, till six. 
till six. Eastern. <laughs> yeah. So there's like a, that's like a three Get your popcorn period. out, man. Sit back and, and watch the chart while, you, while you're kind of handcuffed. You know, that's, you know it's funny, quite... man. That's almost like you can almost do a volatility trade in this, maybe. That's, that's going to be interesting, man, because that pound is going to move around all night, I suspect. You know? Well, here's what's really interesting about them, too, is it's based on the indicative index. Okay? Yeah. So the indicative, from what I understand, doesn't move between three and six. So there could be some insane volatility in there. Yes. And then it opens back up, and you know, hey, if it's a, you know, if it's past one of your walls, then it expires at you know the floor of the ceiling. But if it's not, then you have to surf that volatility, and it could come back down and be in your favor when it opens back yeah, up. Yeah, it's no. just gonna smack. It's open tricky. Up it's, it's just like the option market. I'll watch right. it. I'm gonna watch it's, it myself yeah, today just right. to get a feel for it. Right. That'd be a good time, right? You'd oh. Watch yeah. Make That'd time. be the best time, right? Make right, time. best time. <laughs> Daryl, thanks so much, man. You have a great one, a safe one. All right, you too. Thanks, okay. Daryl. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow 10, Nasdaq's up 73. S&Ps are up 15. We'll come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow 29, Nasdaq's up 78, S&Ps are up 17. Uh, gold's flat, uh, dollar is up uh, 288, and uh, we can expect this uh, volatility to continue. Oh, yeah, PG&E. How about it, right? I'll pull it over back at the top of the most actively traded, yep. and um, down 25%. So what are they saying over here? I'm just going to click on this random 
So they were down as much as 40% intraday, uh, down about 25% right now. Let's see, more analyst downgrades, um, basically just an extension of yesterday, it looks like, with the build on. Yeah, the, the, the hard thing to comprehend, and this is what is always a bummer when this happens in public markets in general, um, PG, for some reason, PGE. PCG. Okay. Um, for some reason, even when folks are in the market, they really don't realize that when a company's saying they're going bankrupt, well, the equity's not worth any money. So what happened yesterday is that they notified the public and they notified the state of California they're going bankrupt. So the, what the regulation is, is that you have to give the state 15 days notice okay. to go bankrupt. They gave them the notice. Okay. So they couldn't go bankrupt last, like last night. Sure. If they were a utility, if they weren't a utility, you could right. go bankrupt immediately. Bottom line is that that's, you know, so that stock is not going to be worth $6, even though people are still buying it at 6 you know? Yeah. Um, you know, it's very unusual when a stock is even worth 50 cents, even in a Chapter 11, when they wipe everything out, because most of the time, all the equity gets wiped out. It's the bondholders, folks. That actually get wiped out too, but most of the time the bondholders, you know, you're going to get 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents on the dollar. That 90 is pushing it, pushing it. Depends, yes. depends where you are in the stack. Right. In that case, though, I don't think they have much at all. They, they're, they're claiming that they have 30 billion. They're speculating they have 30 billion in liabilities just from the suits. Yes. And they only have 1 billion, 1.5 billion in cash in the bank right now. And the market cap is nothing. I mean, the market cap is, what, a couple billion, maybe? Way down to three, three billion. billion, you know. So. And it was as low as 507 today. So yeah. it's up pretty right. substantially right. from that level. Yeah. Bottom line, folks, don't touch it, because it's going BK. And they'll, you know what I didn't know? But I remembered this, which is unbe unbelievable. They went BK in 2001. Okay. So th what that was about, and this was this was sad because I was in the markets then, and what that was about is that the they bought uh, energy, right? They, they they bought forward contracts. Okay. W when energy was going up, and a lot of utilities did this at outrageous prices, and okay. then it crashed. And when I read that last night, it says, "Oh, this is unbelievable." I mean, that's only what, 18 years ago. What year did you say? 2001? Yeah, 2001. Yeah. I mean, every 18 years ago, big BK, <laughs> you know? Uh, but I, I remember that. I remember and because the state of California, the state itself had also bought that guy that what was the governor then, he cost that state a fortune, man. Okay. Um, they, anyway, but it's pretty amazing when you think about it. Too. Yeah. I mean, that's not, that's not a long time for... No, it's not. Yeah. So they, they, have, they have a problem, period. I, I suspect most of these utilities have a problem out there. Yeah, we're back. That was a weird. That's not going to be it. That's we were reading that article yesterday no, for the show. Okay, yeah. okay. So that in itself, uh, there's some problems out there. Let's see. Which I'm just curious. Okay, so Facebook is up 140, 150. Yeah, 150. That caught a pop, but that's shot lived. Uh, now, J.P. Morgan came out with numbers, and the numbers weren't great. No, and I'd say yeah. they were bad. They're tra trading, <laughs> they're not even trading worse than not great. down, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So, let's see. That was the big number that they keep kept talking about. I heard it on Bloomberg. So, um, fixed income, currencies, and commodities. Ooh, look at Fig that. Sales trading revenue, 1.86 versus an estimate 2.29. Wow. Yeah. That's a number, man. It is quite a number. And then even just adjusted revenue, right? 26.8. Um, the range was was as high as 28.12. Now the estimate they're saying 26.9, but okay. you know not not even close to near the higher end of that range. Uh, adjusted earning per share 198 versus 221. They're lucky the, that they're only down a the, buck. The range was as high as 234, um, and this is kind of what Kevin Hanks was talking about. Same deal where, you know, they're coming out with some bad numbers, okay. and they've been hit right. so hard recently right. that they're not getting hit today right. as bad as you might expect. Right. Um, right. Because these are some startling bad numbers. That's why, yeah. jokingly, you know, when you say they're not great, they're much worse than not great, I mean, to be fair, right? Yeah. I mean, they really are. Let's um, go look at Wells Fargo. They come out, too. Um, WFC. So that's down a buck 23. And... Let's hit that one too, maybe the first one, right? Sure. Uh, 
Revenue slumped 5% in the fourth quarter, the third drop in the past year, the bigger and bigger than analysts expected. Yeah, so it's still struggling with uh, basically a plethora of things they've been dealing with, yeah. right? I mean, it's almost... Um, yeah. Reven it's, it is important to know that Wells Fargo revenues were down in all three segments, including community banking, wholesale banking, and wealth management. Um, very tight cost discipline and a lower tax rate allowed the bank to see only a small erosion of net income. Well, it's good to know that the taxpayers can make sure that Wells Fargo stays alive by giving them a tax cut. Yeah, for ripping everyone off. <laughs> Seriously, man. Literally, they say in there, the only reason that we're literally not losing a bunch of money is because we just got a big tax break. Yeah. There goes the growth. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at, uh, oh, Newmont. Newmont yesterday, man, took a big hit. Um, yeah, look at this. I mean, you know, the, the markets. <laughs> so look at this. So let's do this number. So if we go. We'll call it 3150. Is okay. what it's trading at right 3150. now. 3150. What is it? 0.3280, I believe. Yeah. Let me see. I'm going to pull yeah. up a calculator. Yeah. 0.3280 times we'll do 31.46 1032 plus two pennies yeah, right plus so 1034 let me just put it up on this side this is sick for gold corp 1034 oh my god it's well, trading that's how, at the, yeah it's trading they know it's going to get down it's trading right on the dot 1034 wow. on the dot so there you go so newmont again it was 0 0.328 0 0.328 so you multiply the newmont 0 0.328 shares yeah Basically, almost a third of a share, if you want to ballpark it, right? Right. 0 0.328, 0 0.33. A uh, third of a share plus two pennies, but right on the dot, man, 1034 on and the dot. Th there must be something wrong with uh, Gold Corp because it's like, you know, I mean, look at that chart, man. I mean, Gold Corp's chart is like a disaster, uh, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. You know, it's yes. like, but just pull it back a bit. I think it used to be a $50 stock, so it's, uh, their like, expenses must be just, I just going to daily, yeah. yeah. And then we'll go back further. Yeah, just put it on monthly. Sure. 20 years all the way. Oof. Look at that. Yeah, so about 2011. Yeah. It's That's pretty intense. One. Let's see, where, where was it, just out of curiosity? So it was down there in 2016 at 946. So you're talking about three years. Yeah. When we're just slightly above so where it, we're it, at. So what's interesting there, folks, it, it's almost that um, what you actually have is that you have Newmont taking over their expenses. <laughs> okay. And yeah. You know, the things, you know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, you're not getting a huge amount on it. Do you know what I mean? So, pretty wild. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 42. Nasdaq's up 76. S&P's up 17. Come right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Dow Industrial is up 65, Nasdaq's up 79, S&Ps are up 19, and we got our man, Mr. Dave White, coming up for everyone, folks. That's right, man. Tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, right after your program. It's amazing. Tomorrow, January 16th. He'll be in there with subscribers right at 5 o'clock following your program, Path of Least Resistance and the Technology Insider. If you're already a subscriber, you're already signed up, you'll see that link right on your members page tomorrow to get into that webinar. And uh, yeah, tomorrow night he's going to be talking about nuclear weapons for traders, the second installment of the, um, the workshop where Dave is going to be talking about kind of the machine learning. He's put together those oscillator yes. charts, 24 of them, in his newsletter every day. You sign up for PATH, of course, you gain access to the newsletter and all of those charts on a daily basis over the course of that 30 days as well. And uh, that'll come with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all subscribers signing up for it. And you can click on that and get a little bit of a feel for what he's going to be talking about with his subscribers live tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. Dave's been excited for this. He was really planning this uh, early December, I think he was talking about. Right. So he was excited, right. man. Right. Um, working and now on he's it. got a two-way market, too, which is oh, cool, man, folks. Right? Okay, so what ends up happening is that, you know, that's when you, you see real robust systems, when they can work on the way up and then work on the way down. Yeah, so he breaks down 24 sectors by ETF in the path, a least resistance every morning, showing relative strength using that wisdom of crowds approach that leads and not follows the market by days and not minutes. Yeah. I like that. I want, to see, I want to see what charts are leading the markets by days and not minutes. Check it out. It's pretty amazing. It man. is. I mean, the amount of data that is out here now uh, is just incredible. It sure There's is, There's no man. doubt. Well, here, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll skip a beat yep. here for a second, but this is, this is crazy. Tilray, T-L-R-Y, T-L. So, look at, you know, whatever their PR is, they, they get some good deal makers, evidently, because look at this. Um, Prince, here, Pot firm Tilray is adding a third company to its growing roster of global partnership, announcing a revenue share agreement with Authentic Brand Group, owner of more than 50 brands ranging from Nine West Shoes to Prince Tennis Gear. <laughs> the deal will see uh, uh, ABG market and distribute cannabis products supplied by Tilray, in particular, focused on cannabinoids or CBD. This is going to be crazy, man. You're going to, what, they're saying that you're going to go to a clothing store and you're going to buy, uh, I guess CBDs are different, right? That's, you know. Yes. That is the non, kind of, um, the non-high, right, part of yeah. the, and. Oh, look at this, though. This is wild. Okay, so their, their, their PR, folks, is that they're adding a third company to their roster of global partnerships. But what they're really doing, they're, they're, they're paying them. To, to do the partnership. Well, but they had a revenue share in here. In return, they're going to get f almost 50% of any revenue generated from the product sales okay. with a guaranteed minimum payment of $10 million annually for 10 years. So they are paying them $100 million up front and then $250 million in cash. They're guaranteed to get $100 million of that back, it seems. Plus, that could seriously grow because uh, 
I yeah, imagine because, that well, they're going to be in 10 years. Can you? I mean, that's a 10-year deal, right? Can you imagine 10 years from now? What, and how many kind of, stores they have. That's yeah. what, what kind of sales it might be talking about in, in the 10th year, in 2029. I can't even spit that out. Man. Why not? I mean, that's, yeah. 2029. I had to do a, a head stick. Um, I'll, be, I'll be 42. So they're available at more than 100,000 outlets and more than 4,500 freestanding stores across the world. Um, that is some reach, man. Yeah, pretty remarkable. So Tilray down 4.4 percent, though. They're grabbing retail real estate in a hurry in the United States. That's it. So it's going to be. Uh, it's definitely going to be a grab for distribution. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. You know. Real, yes. Real question is when? When are you going to be able to walk down? Um, what is the street in New Orleans? Uh, Bourbon. No, yeah. When are you going to be able to walk street? down Bourbon yeah. Street and there's this place is selling joints and you know on the street? That's Louisiana. I don't know. Are they. Uh. Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying that if it happens, it's going to be like, well, maybe it's Vegas. Well, we live first. in Florida. We're a far cry, too. It ain't going to happen in Florida. Well, but Louisiana ain't far off from Florida when it comes to politics, as uh, sometimes it goes. Yeah, no, I understand that, but That's party, party in New Orleans is like, you know. Yeah, but you got to remember it exists in a state. Yeah. That's the problem there. Yeah, maybe we'll go to South Carolina. I don't, I don't That's know. That's a joke, know. folks. I was yeah, like, yeah. okay. <laughs> the, I, listen, I remember the first time that outside of being in the service, being in South Carolina, um, they don't do this anymore, folks, but you never could, the only way that you could get a drink is that they served them in little tiny bottles. Okay. And, you know, you'd have to order a bottle, and then you have to take the bottle, and you put it in there, and okay. it, was, it was a whole trip, man. Hey, Massachusetts still has some blue state laws that are pretty over the top in terms of alcohol and, on Sunday and what it is and all that stuff, so. Yeah, well. Not yeah. Florida. I you, guess they have that, and they're going to open it. Massachusetts is going to open up Internet Cafe. No, what? Um, not Internet Cafe. No, not right. Internet <laughs> Cafe. I mean, pot cafes, yeah. right? Yeah, well, they had somebody proposed it, I believe, and they had, uh, um, I, it's making its way through. But yeah, they talked about uh, approving. Um, you got to get those crepe places, folks. You're up in Massachusetts, just open a food place next to it. <laughs> That's where the money's going to be, man. 877 <laughs> uh, Let's go take a look at that pound, see as we get closer here. I'm sure this thing's going to be running around all day. Now, it's been going lower all, day, all morning now. Yep. And kind of built in but it's built in would uh meaning that yeah i mean it's built in that this thing's not going to fly I sure yeah the real question is going to be by how much that's you know do, yep. do all these politicians just back out along the way because they're, they're talking about like she might lose by 100 votes 60 votes and then like 200 votes it's like okay well my question is, though, so what does that exactly mean if it's already like built in it could be good and it could be bad I in know. terms of progressing yeah, we that's don't, what that's, I don't understand. That, no, believe me. And I think that's what the market's struggling with a little bit right now, even oh. as you see some weakness in the pound. Right. Because um, like you say, if she fails miserably in this deal and there's no Brexit, the market would love that for a pound because there's no Brexit. Right. Well, we just saw the pounds pull back. Right. A full penny. Right. Yeah. Lots of forces at play in that currency oh, market. Oh, no doubt about right. it. Let's go take a look at uh, good old GE. Talk about... Uh, you know, so GE, you know, this is going to get intriguing because it's coming up to, like, right, let's see, is that the first one that launched that yet? Well, no, it's right at it, okay. So you get two different places. Speaking of birthdays, there you go, go ahead. Yeah, um, we got, what's that, Nine, 896. Ah, yeah. Yeah, 896 is ice, and then your next one, this actually does get there, 896, right there. And then the next one would be right above that at 980. That's okay. Those are the things you want to watch there. Um, and you can see that it's, your volume's contracting up here. It doesn't mean it won't break it, but that, that's still going to be a, that's still a, a story that uh, is unfolding. I would agree. You know? <laughs> and we won't know the end of that story probably for a couple of years. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and in terms of whether it's a success or a failure to right, that turnaround. Right. Yeah. And the next, let's see, so the next time they're out with numbers, January 31st. Yeah, so about two weeks. And then we'll have to see what they basically throw out, you know, 
Write-off wise. Not bad numbers, man. We talk about it all the time, though. It's their debt deal, right? Yeah. Um, because, I mean, just, you know, revenue, enormous numbers in terms of just uh, billions and billions. But the growth numbers, man, they're, they're all in the positive, except for this marginal 3%. But even that is pretty flat. Yeah. Um, but guess what, man? You can't just be staying stagnant if you got debt that's overcoming no. your company. And the problem has been is that they sold the companies, and that's where their debt is. Yeah. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm sure you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN. Welcome back, folks. So, 2 p.m., uh, is when you can ex start expecting a little more volatility, maybe, uh, in the Eastern currency time, markets. Yep. Yeah. So that's going to be uh, 7 p.m. London time. And, uh, yeah, so they have four amendments selected, so the final vote on the motion should be 8 p.m. London time. Two of the amendments calling on the government to change the much lower the Irish backstop. If those amendments are approved, then the parliament will no longer be voting on a motion that fully reflects the deal made negotiated in Brussels. So there will be some volatility yeah. right at the start. Right. Um, of how those of how those come in. Yeah. So well, the attorney general also dismissed the claim from Brexiteers, citing a House of Lords report that the UK has no legal obligation to pay 39 billion pounds to the UK. The House of Lords did not say that. The House of Lords committee said there was none in the EU law, but that may well, but there may well be public 
international law obligations. So I heard uh, somebody from the UK talking about this this morning, and they are pro-Brexit, the person talking about okay. this, I forget the person. And their rationale was that the bylaws say once you're not in the EU that you're no longer bound by that deal. But part of the deal is that if you want to leave, you have to pay. Right. So they're jumping over that like, oh, well, we won't be part of the deal, so we don't have to adhere to anything that they I say see. anymore. Right. And it's like, no. in order to get there, if you break it, you're still, yeah, right. you're, 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 you know, yeah. you're jumping to if we're out of the EU. Right. The only way to get out of the EU right. is to pay to, to leave it. Um, well, all they have to do is just take some of the fines from our banks. Just come back over and get a few of our banks and find them up. $39 billion. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Should be interesting. Uh, interesting, interesting. Two o'clock. Who's going to be on at two o'clock? Dave White. He'll be on. He'll have a good hour. Get ready for that workshop tomorrow. Totally. Stay right there, folks. We get Fast Market coming up next. And we get our man, Mr. Bowser Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.